Hey guys, it's me, Kezia, the world's leading female dating expert for men. And today I'm going to look at compliments. How does one pay a woman a compliment? The first thing that you have to recognize is that women want to feel special, but they don't want to feel idolized. Allow me to elucidate. If you just give the girl a wave of compliments, vague compliments, such as you look nice, you're pretty, your hair's nice, you have beautiful eyes, that it's going to make her feel idolized rather than special. The trick is that instead of using a whole load of meaningless vague compliments, which can be directed to anybody, make sure that you use one or two very tailor-made compliments. They have a bespoke feel to them. Now, they don't have to be bespoke or tailor-made. They could be your stock and trade lines as long as they feel like that. Now, not only will she feel less idolized and more special, but she'll also trust you a lot more. You see, we don't really trust guys that are just using vague compliments on us. We've been, we've been taught since a young age that we, we can't trust people like that, that they're after one thing. But a detailed compliment that feels more tailor-made and bespoke for her as an individual, we tend to trust that a lot more. And plus, it shows that the guy has an eye for detail. So start replacing you look beautiful, you look pretty, you have nice hair, you have a nice body with let's say you look like a modern day Audrey Hepburn. Actually a lot of women, brunettes obviously, really like this compliment. A lot of women love Audrey Hepburn. You know it's like Audrey Hepburn, Rita Hayworth, Marilyn Monroe, all these kind of iconic glamorous women from a bygone era. That's something that no woman would feel um, uncomfortable or upset with being um, compared to and you're putting this, this spin on it saying it's a modern day version. So that's very detailed and I've seen women respond really well to those compliments, those kind of compliments um, because they trust it a lot more and they feel that it is tailor-made for them. Another thing that you can do which will really really help maximize the effect of your compliments is by focusing on something that the woman has worked on to achieve. So rather than you have nice hair, you have nice eyes, which is something that she's inherited from one of her parents. Instead, why don't you focus on maybe the way that she does her makeup, her style of clothes, the shoes that she's chosen to wear, the perfume that she's chosen to spray on, the way that she holds herself, um, her wit even, the way that she speaks. These are things that she's had to work on, she's had to improve, she's had to make some sort of a decision on. She has some sort of control over. And by saying that you validate almost, that you're validating something that she's worked at, it shows that, again, you have attention to detail, you have an eye for detail, but also you are validating her choice. You're validating something that she has chosen to do rather than something that she's just been blessed or inherited with. So I always like it when a guy says to me that I have nice eyes, but he likes the fact that I know how to, to do my makeup. I know how to make up my eyes. Little details like that, because women do make an effort. Women do spend a long time choosing what they wanna wear. Even if they look like crap some women and you think that they're really dressed down, They've chosen to dress down. They, they actually have put together this outfit to make it look like they're dressing down almost. So it's always welcomed when a guy actually spots these efforts that we make rather than just using what I would say just very um, lazy compliments, lazy compliments. And you want to stand out from other guys. That's another thing. You really need to stand out from everything else that she's heard. She has heard that her eyes are nice, her hair's nice. Even if it's not, even if she hasn't got the greatest body, she's heard it. So you're going to just bypass all that. You're not going to do what the rest of the crowd are doing as you're going to stand out from the rest of them by giving her that tailor-made bespoke compliment. Now, if you want to use a more sexual compliment with a girl, and that's when you want to take it from that platonic stage to something a little bit more flirtatious, I would say focus on the legs. You can focus on breasts and ass, but you have to have watertight confidence when you are actually focusing on those areas of the body. And most guys can't pull it off. Some can, but most can't. If you think you can, go for it. But be warned, you have to have 
watertight confidence and you have to have a really great rebuttal if she comes back with something that you didn't expect but that's actually another video for another time so when you make a compliment of her about her legs you have to do it in a way which gives her pleasure also it tantalizes her so you're talking to her and rather than just going to her oh your legs are driving me crazy and then staring at her expecting like some sort of reward or a round of applause just cut the conversation look like you've been distracted and say to her your legs are driving me crazy anyway what were you saying or pass me the red wine or whatever it is it's to break rapport it's to break that moment now you're not doing this because you're ashamed or you're embarrassed about what you said you're doing it because you're a master of timing and that's what flirting comes down to timing timing and execution so the reason that you're changing the subject is so that you don't allow her to think about it for too long you don't want her to start thinking you know what what have i been advised to do in this situation if a guy makes some sort of possibly crass comment or compliment how should i react you don't give her that time you just give her enough time to enjoy it and it shows that you're very much in control of the situation again if you're going to use a sexual compliment you have to be very very confident very in control when you're doing it you have to be extremely committed to the compliment so they're my tips today if you're using a compliment, just a general compliment at the beginning of an interaction, a non-sexual compliment, make sure it's detailed and bespoke. Remember, women want to feel special, not idolized. And if you're going to use a sexual compliment, stick to the legs if you can, if you can help it. And make sure that you change the subject, not out of shame and embarrassment, but because you're a master of timing and because you don't really need a compliment back. You're much, much more confident than that. You don't need to have a round of applause. You don't need her validation. And this will tantalize her a lot more than somebody giving a compliment and waiting with their mouth open like, like a dog waiting for his treat. So I hope these tips helped you. And if you check out my website, www.kezia-noble.com, you'll find a lot more free advice there. I've got free eBooks. Um, I've also got more information about my boot camps and my seven day mastery course. So make sure you check that out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I hope to see you soon on one of my live events. Take care.